Mm. You are looking good, Otis. Yeah, I'm looking all right. <laughs> you are thank looking good. You, thank you, Otis. Well, well like I mean, you said, who, you... what the reality is, who doesn't want washboard abs? It's true. But I think everybody wants it. Getting rid of. Easy. But hang on, that. Momentum. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you have to do it slower. Is what and you're what they're saying is, just don't eat, and you'll yeah. lose the weight. Well, no, we need and to get eat. on this and have a good time. No, absolutely. We are going to eat. We're going to eat right now. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, talking about washboard abs, you know, there's research that says you can trim your waistline by eating certain foods. That's right. Carrie Ann Jennings, associate editor for Eating Well magazine, is here to talk about some of those tummy trimming foods. Welcome, Carrie Ann. I'm, you know, I'm so excited about this I topic. Do now. Because <laughs> we get to eat, but still get skinny. Tell us you about do. it. You know, and first, tell us why it's so hard to lose belly fat. Um, well, it's not so much why it's so hard, but why it's so dangerous to have a fat in your belly area. Because mm -hmm. um, think about it, that's where all of your organs are. So when fat's accumulating there, that's really dangerous for your other organs. So if you're, you know, if you have fat on your thighs, that's less of a problem. Maybe you don't like it. Um, but if you got so a big tire right here, I mean, there's a, bi there's a that, big that's reason. That's more of a problem. Right. Right. More of a health oh, risk. Uh, visceral fat or exactly, brown fat exactly. Or and that's why there have been studies that have been done that actually looking at well, what actually helps to give you an extra edge on getting rid of that okay, belly fat. Well, let's dive in so. and give us <laughs> yeah. some tips. When you say cooking, especially with high heat, I always thought olive oil, but you say no. But especially in high heat high in omega-3s, mm -hmm. and that actually can help to lower your insulin levels, which then discourages fat storage in the abdomen. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Olive oil is not bad. You're just saying No, no, canola, olive oil is great. Yeah, <laughs> canola oil for cooking if canola it's a really for, hot dish. Yeah, exactly. And now beans, you know, vegetarians, they, talk, they tout them all the time. They say that, you know, they right. get them through their days. So why are beans so good for reducing right. that belly fat? Well, Beans and other vegetarian proteins might just help to give you an extra edge on losing weight in general mm -hmm. and also losing belly fat. Um, in a six-month study, they found that people on a vegetarian diet just ended up losing more weight overall and especially in their belly area compared mm -hmm. to people who are eating the same amount of calories but not vegetarian. Are beans beans or are there better beans for um, your so belly? I think, no, and any beans are good. Oh. And, you know, all beans are really high in fiber. They're also high in protein. And both of those things can help you to feel full and satiated. So they're a good choice. Okay. Nice. Now I'm confused about dairy because some people say to have full fat dairy, some people say to have skim, one percent. What's the deal with the dairy? Okay. When it comes to flattening your abs, go for low fat or skim. Okay. And the reason is that it's having a high amount of dairy that has been shown to help whittle your waistline. Well, well having a high amount mm -hmm. of dairy. Yep. yep. So there. Yeah. So another study <laughs> found that. Eating six to seven servings a day, a what? Day? Which is a lot. So wow. a very, quite a, you know a quite high protein diet, mo mostly coming from dairy. Those people ended up losing more weight and more abdominal fat. But low fat milk and, and low building fat more cheese muscle. is so, the whole canopy right. of. Right. So well, yeah, low fat milk, low fat yogurt would be a good choice. Okay. So that's a great um, way to get it, like, lo like yeah. maybe the string cheese, the skim. String yeah, cheese. that would be. Yeah. So and, and, and you say the yogurts with whey. The protein. Well, whey, the whey protein is what's doing that, um, helping you to build muscle and helping you to, you know, slim your waistline. No way. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, whey. <laughs> um, so I think most most dairy products do, do have that, but any you know high it's high in protein and a good choice. Well, they called me this in college, red pepper. Um, what is really? what's the benefit of, of, of pepper? Okay, the benefit actually is in the color. So do you know what makes red pepper is red? No, what? Um, it's something called lycopene, and it's also what makes tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. Exactly, watermelon, and so eating a lot of. Lycopene and also beta carotene, which is the thing that carrots. makes carrots. Carrots, yeah. orange. orange. Uh -huh. Exactly. Have just been people who have eaten a lot of them tend to be leaner. Okay. So they're a good choice. So it's always a good idea to get a wide variety of colors in your diet. And this is just an added incentive to eat those beautiful red hmm. and orange ones. Lovely. All right. So this will be my lunch and I'll just pour a little vinegar <laughs> in it. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you need to How do you vinegar? incorporate in vinegar in your diet and why? Okay. So, well, we already have some oil here. Add some vinegar and you get a nice salad dressing. Thing. True. Mm -hmm. um, you can also, you know, so this is any type of vinegar has been, you know, might help you with 
not storing some fat, and that's because it's high in that acetic, acetic acid. Right. And that actually stimulates enzymes that oxidize the fat, and then you don't hold on to them. Quick question. So, I heard Fergie takes a shot of apple cider vinegar <laughs> every day before really? she works. Yes, I'm not even kidding. She takes a shot of apple cider vinegar by itself, and that's supposed to... I can't speak to that exactly, right. but I mean, adding you know, adding a tablespoon a day into your diet could give you an extra boost. And so, if, if you'd too. like to do Done. it with a shot, that's one way. But you yeah. could also <laughs> you just incorporate it into your cooking. Okay. Right. You know, cooking with some balsamic vinegar, yeah. making when you're making um, so any vinegar, or marinade, yeah. any vinegar is yeah. fine. Nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be. And we go nuts. Yes. Walnuts. Yes, walnuts or any type of nut. Um, you know, it's kind of surprising because they're high in calories and they're also high in fat. So you would think they wouldn't be the best if you're trying to lose weight. But actually, um, you know, a large study found that people who ate nuts at least twice a week ended up lo um, gaining less weight over eight years than people who hardly ever ate nuts. And you know, in a way, it's not that surprising mm. because nuts, although they're high in calories, they're also high in healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. They're also high in fiber and they're high in protein. Yeah, and but all it's three the of portion. Things, mm -hmm. Yeah, the portion right. of it. So all three of those things can help you to feel full, which means that actually on a smaller portion, you actually will feel quite satiated mm -hmm. and not maybe need to snack so much. But an almond right. and a walnut really better for you than a cashew, right? Isn't it? Aren't there? Or like a honey yeah, roasted peanut. Or a honey yeah. roasted peanut. There are ways <laughs> we dress up our nuts. Honey roasted peanut yeah. so. mixed with M&M's and uh, raisins. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you have to have like the plain one. Yeah, so go for, yeah. go for plain. But you know, every type of nut has a different, you know, a little bit of a different nutritional profile. So it's okay to get a variety. Just, yeah, keep in mind portions. So 14 walnut halves is one ounce. Yes. Yeah. Also, two tablespoons of peanut butter. 22 almonds. So, you know, just keep that in mind before just show. like having a yeah. portion, <laughs> portion <laughs> control <laughs> and eat the things that give you, you know, yeah. nice. Feeling. Can I, yeah, can I eat bit. this like an apple? Can you make them like an apple? You could. Why not? Put a little salt on it. Just, just mind the season. And John's going to have flat abs wow. before you know it. Wow. wow. <laughs> just have a shot of vinegar and you're on your way. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Ann Jennings, for eating well magazine. Um, we appreciate it. Hopefully, we will have washboard abs here. John's choking right now. So it's not you know, hot, John. It really isn't. I think he's just.